Hi, my name is Herman Chow. I'm the Senior Director of Product Management for our server connectivity products as well as our virtualization initiatives. And server virtualization has really been a game changer for the data center, primarily because it's creating an opportunity to significantly transform the data center to reduce cost and spending um, to maintain high-end applications within a data center framework. However, it's created a couple of very key challenges within networking that have to be resolved in order for virtualization to scale to much larger deployments, as well as to service tier one apps that are the most common within a data center framework. And these two challenges really can be boiled down to two main ones. One is the visibility of VMs in a management context. So now that applications are physically or virtually separated from the physical ports themselves, one has to be able to view ports at a virtual level and actually be able to manage down to a VM or an application. The other challenge is now that one has visibility or can actually manage that context, you still need to extend essential network services that are once deployed in a physical infrastructure out into a virtualized environment as well. So Tony and I are here to talk to you today about two exciting technologies that Brocade is introducing to the market that will actually address these challenges so that virtualization can continue to thrive in a data center environment. Hi, my name is Tony Hampel. I'm Director of Product Management for Brocade's data center management software. I'm here to tell you about what we're showcasing at VMworld in San Francisco and also talk a little bit more about some of the new features and functions within our management products. Now we've just released DCFM 10.3 which is a great new management product from Brocade. It actually features a data center pathing which enables VM users to see the data path from the server all the way through the LUN which is something that traditionally has caused data center VM administrators a lot of problem. It's costly to fix, it's hard to troubleshoot and this feature really helps resolve these problems. In addition we're showcasing a vCenter uh, plugin um, for VMware and this gives the ability to help data center administrators have the best performance possible for the applications running in their VMs. When there is uh, bottlenecks or network congestion in the SAN, we can then help either manually or automatically move these VM applications from one server to another server. And this is all policy based. Now the third thing that we're showing is SAO. And I'm going to let Herman talk a little bit more about that next. So server application optimization, or SAO, is essentially a new FOSS license for Brocade Fabrics that extends the capabilities of our core fabric network into server virtualized environments through Brocade adapters so that you can provide essential services now down to an application or a VM. Uh, one key feature that we're introducing and demonstrating is the notion of extending quality of service. The exciting part is all these technologies that Tony have I, and I have talked about in terms of SAO and DCFM are actually technologies that we'll be demonstrating uh, on the show floor at VMworld, essentially to show how Brocade is taking networking to the next level to address the exciting opportunity that virtualization provides across the data center. Mm -hmm.